Big jackpot tonight. Grand total of $555 million in the Mega Millions drawings. But now more than ever, the lottery ends up as a tax on those who can least afford it. According to the National Gambling Impact Study Commission, 10% of players make up 66% of lottery sales. And that 10% is usually lower income, high school dropouts, and disproportionately African American. The lottery will tell you that the money is helping schools, and it is. Of the 29 billion collected by states a year, roughly 14 billion is given to education. But more of the money is going to wealthier districts. Illinois, for example, took in 786 million in lottery tax revenue last year, their third largest in history. Most all of it goes to the common school fund, makes up 10% of school funding. But wealthy districts get 18% more per student than poor communities. So basically, low-income, poverty-ridden communities fund the lottery, but their schools get significantly less than the ones in the rich neighborhoods. And that is not the only problem. Liberty Vitters here features editor of the Harvard Data Science Review, professor of data science at Washington University in St. Louis, and occasionally my favorite sister. So uh, that's not the only problem. What's the next problem? This was sold to voters as a way to fund education, as you said. But the problem is, while the money is going to education, it's going to the original education budget. It's not supplementing the education budget. So the money, it's the same amount that's going to education. It hasn't increased, and they're just using that extra money to fund whatever else. So it's a total sham to say this money is going to education. So to quote a uh, good friend of ours, it's not an addition to, it is indeed in lieu of. Uh, specifically in terms of who's playing the lottery and this concept of a tax on the poor, basically you're buying a ticket for the right to dream, right? Uh, Illinois was one of the states they studied. Cook County, Illinois, Cicero, one of the poorest neighborhoods, average income, 47,000. Nine lottery sellers in just that neighborhood, 21 in the neighboring area. Winnetka, five times the average income, not a single place sells lottery tickets. That's because wealthier people don't buy it, right? Absolutely. Low-income houses spend four to five times more than high-income households do on the lottery. It's absolutely a tax on the poor. And it's one that the lotto officials are playing on. And they are making it harder to win. They've changed the game. They've made the odds harder to win so that the lotto keeps rolling over week after week. And we get these crazy huge jackpots. It's not a coincidence that this is an enormous jackpot. They made it like that in 2017 so that then we come on the news and we talk about it and more people would go play there, there you go and i hope you pick up uh, you and i a ticket on your way to the airport and i'll split it with you that's now on tape i'll see you soon <laughs> thank you thanks for watching go to newsnationnow.com to find news nation on your television provider and don't forget to subscribe click the red button to get more of news nation's fact-driven unbiased coverage